going through some stuff and working on some stuff so I really appreciate you for waiting and continuing to click on my videos and supporting whatever it is that I'm doing I mean, I, I knew that lots of you have talents I just wasn't expecting that, that you would show me like this It feels so odd to be back, but I am back. There's my cue. <laughs> Hello. Um, yeah, so sorry, I just took a break. Actually, I don't know why I have to apologize, but I feel like I do have to apologize for taking a long break. I was not expecting to need this time to be just away somehow and disappear for a little bit actually not really a little bit it's been a month over a month I just need to be somehow in a place where I can step away from everything and get some perspectives get some inspirations and there will be some changes some new things, I think. So yeah, that's where I've been at. Mentally, emotionally, physically, I was also away. And um, now I'm back home, under the piano. <laughs> this video has been delayed for about two weeks, mainly because I was exhausted and I just could not get myself to talk to the camera. Even though you will see this video, I hope you will keep watching. It's really dedicated to you and your support for me and I might get emotional. Actually, now that I'm starting to talk, I think this is why I avoided and really kept pushing this video back because it's a very meaningful video, but also I can't believe that you put so much effort into being part of this celebration for CD which I know some of you have gotten already. Thank you for all the support. This is my first appearance on a major label and it's the trajectory that I'd like to go for my career for years. I've also been working on something in this direction. That's why I also took the time off from the internet. Anyway, you might remember a while ago that this came out. It's been very exciting to see you listen to the final product of something that I worked on together with other musicians and it means a lot that you're in front of the scenes with me aside from being you know, behind the scenes with me or under the scenes <laughs> a lot of the times here on YouTube. So I asked a bunch of visual artist, which at the time when I started this idea, I thought maybe I would just get some paintings or drawings, but I was not expecting, also this is just because I'm a little bit dumb, but I forgot that there's also dance, which is very much a visual art. And so some of you danced, some of you painted, some of you drew, animated to music from the CD as a way to celebrate with me because when I saw this come out, I felt a little bit disconnected because it's like, I made this, but then you're so far away <laughs> somewhere in this. You're not even in the pixels, I'm in the pixels, but you're somewhere in the galaxy, it feels like. So for you to join me in celebrating through your art, inspired by the music that I recorded, it means so much to me, so let's just go into this compilation video. So the first track that I was part of is the Doomkey Trio.
receiving this art while I was in the middle of the Mordsburg Festival, which was where I was performing a few concerts last month. Finally downloading it because I was in the middle of the woods and basically had no Wi-Fi. And when I saw this, I just, I don't know how to explain it. I was just shocked that you would have the image of a raven because for me, when I played this, you know, I'm not a very visual person. I don't have any images that come up in my brain when I play, nothing like this. So Beatrice said you were imagining the song was struggling lovers who care for each other. There's some betrayal and jealousy and you said the raven symbolizes the mourning of a loved one and the rose is a symbol of love and kindness. But there are spikes represent betrayal and how the lovers hurt each other. The fact that you got that from the music that's just amazing. And also, Bethany, I didn't know that there were aerialists in my followers, in my audience. And this is, I have no words, it just fits so perfectly. Now we have the second movement of this Doom Key. I just can't believe that you made this. If you've listened to the CD, you know that this Doomkey Trio has extreme contrast in emotions, in not only dynamics, but the moods and the mood switches actually. And the two of you, I think I pronounce your name Ni and Laura, both of you capture those extremes just so well. Yes, there are times when you feel a little bit like perhaps an artist looking for the light in the surrounding gloom or looking back at better times. That's how you felt in the music, that's how I felt from the music as well. So to see you visually paint something so moving, thank you. Laura, <laughs> the grass characters, so cute. I'm glad you told me though, <laughs> that even though there's an army of little grass cuties as you call them, that they're all just very playful and no one actually gets hurt. I love it, it's so imaginative. The colors really show the vibrancy of the music also. And now this next subscriber is going to interpret exactly the same section of music. This one I really teared up because I can't believe that you took the time to do this and with your mother. We have to watch this.
dedication, the passion. It's all there. I can't believe you did this. So thank you, Andre, and your mother, thank you. I showed this to the cellist on the CD, Jan Vogler, and he was also very amazed and impressed. Also, I actually loved the accidental light turning off. It really adds to the drama. Just... <laughs> so you've heard some drama, you've heard some passionate moments, perhaps more depressed moments. Now we're going to go to the next movement, which is very different. <laughs> to actually see how you interpret the music. I mean, I always kind of had this feeling that music and visuals can inspire each other somehow. And to see your different interpretations and each so uniquely beautiful, thank you. It's just fascinating to me because I don't have this ability at all with visuals. I can't draw. When I play the piano, when I look at a piece of music, I kind of have an intuition of how it should sound for the most part. And so for me, it's just fascinating that when you hear the music on the CD, somehow it gives you the inspiration of what it could look like. And so for Pipi, it's watercolors, it's a field of flowers, and I love that you paid a tribute to the Ukrainian origin of this word Dumki with the choice of your colors for sky it reminds you of some adventure in an enchanted forest with magical creatures and I just love the contrast in your interpretations it's just so cool that you have this that you can make visual art out of listening to this I mean I was just guessing that it might happen it could work to see it in actuality it just it's amazing. Thank you. We have another interpretation of the same movement, but a different section.
Lisa is that you were inspired by the big contrast in the register and yeah, you not only have the dynamics and the moods that are very, very extreme, but you also have, you're right, the register goes very, very low to extremely high. You know, sometimes with music, when I play a certain piece, I might wonder, or when I listen to a piece of music, I might wonder, hmm, especially with instrumental music without words, what is it actually, you know, saying what's the story? And when I look at your art, I also think, how did you come up with this visual idea? What's the story? What's up with the creature that's a little bit spooky? in the sea here, for example. It's almost the same questioning that I have, and I like that it's open to interpretations and has this mystery also. So aside from the Doomkey Trio, you know that I recorded and released it, thank you, Sony, <laughs> as a single, the humoresque, and I got two very, very lovely interpretations on this. One is so elegant, and the other it's just so cute. I remember getting this video of your time lapse also in the middle of the woods earlier last month. Ah, I wanted to capture that elegant, simple feeling in playing this humoresque and a little bit of nostalgia as well, but I just thought your drawing captured what I had wanted to convey in my interpretation musically of the piece. So, just lovely. Thank you, Maria. Spending a cozy afternoon together, <laughs> resembling tranquility and warmth of the piece. Yes, I definitely feel that through your little cute animation. And also, yes, there is a feeling of warmthness in the humoresque aside from the more nostalgic side of my interpretations. A small amount of you might know that I've been working on an animation project at my nonprofit Together with Classical. It's an education series on classical music, classical beam. And I know from working on that, each frame of this, I know how much work it takes. So again, I can't believe you did this. Thank you to everyone for putting the time together, for celebrating. My camera ran out of memory because, well, I have been doing things and filming things even though I have been on a break from the internet. So anyway, thank you to Bethany, Beatrice, me, Laura, Andre, your mother, PP, Sky, Isa, Maria, and Anna. Thank you so much. It was very meaningful for me to finally be able to share all of your art here. So thank you for being part of this release. I hope the rest of you have been enjoying the CD. Thank you again to all of you who have supported by listening, streaming, buying the CD. And I'll put all the links down in the description for you if you would like to support and check this out. Thank you for your continuous support and for all your lovely messages about my music, about stuff that I do, your patience, your dedication, your support. I hope you're doing well. I'll be back soon with one announcement and possibly also another announcement about what's coming next. Stay tuned. Oh, I gotta give some attention to my friend up there. Be kind and keep striving. Bye bye. <laughs>